Hi, I'm Danny and this is Retro Camera Review and I'm really excited because today is my first film review and it's not just with any film, it's with Cine Still. Cine Still film, once reserved for only use in motion picture cameras, has now come to the still photographer. Traditionally movie film hasn't been available to still photographers because of an anti-halation layer called ramjet. Thanks to the Brothers Wright pre-removal process, they've gotten rid of that so we can develop it in C41. Now why would you want motion picture film? It's on the bleeding edge of film technology. Just check out this link to the Kodak 5219 film stock video. That'll show you what it can do. Now they have two films available and the one we're reviewing is the 800 speed tungsten film. Designed to be shot in difficult low light situations in tungsten, it's the best choice for night photography. So we went out on the town to take it for a test drive. So it's pretty dark, so I think I might rate my film for like 1600. In fact, one of the luxuries of shooting on cine still film is that it's made for pushing and pulling. As I wandered around starting to take photographs, one obstacle became more apparent than any other. So I came to the boardwalk thinking that they'd have like a lot of tungsten light, but it's actually just a bunch of green fluorescent. Let's see, make eye contact? Yeah. Oh. Despite the fluorescence, I still wanted to try a few photos in it. After all, that's what reality brings, is unexpected situations. Hey buddy! How's it going? I coincidentally ran into Lane LeBlue from the Shreveport Bossier Comedy Guild. With a little bit of convincing, he agreed to do some photos. Yeah, yeah, it's for a YouTube show. Okay. You'll be famous forever. Sweet. Luckily, I found a tungsten source of light from a nearby store. Okay, one, two, three, yeah! It really helped bring out the film's character. Oh, we're not going in. We just we just saw the light, and we were borrowing the light really quick. Three. You can really start to get a sense of the saturation that this film has. So to find a little bit more tungsten light, I headed over to the bars. That looks cool. Feeling socially awkward about approaching strangers in a bar, I forced my girlfriend, Kelly, to step out from behind the camera and start playing beer pong. It was underneath a great tungsten light, and it gave her something dynamic to do that I could capture the moment in. All right, and go ahead and throw it. Yeah, not quite, you didn't quite get it. Oh, yeah. Not only did Kelly finally score, but I also got some great photos. It was a fun night, but I also needed to test the film in daylight. So the next day, I did a few tests. One of the ultimate tests uh, is the bathroom selfie under tungsten light. Again, pukey green fluorescent, hidden in what I thought was a tungsten bulb. You've got to be careful. So I tried a few things with my own LED. Hell, I decided just to go ahead and shoot something in daylight. See how it looks. <clears throat> At this point, it looked like I had pressed the film to its boundaries. But now we had a good idea about what the film was capable of. You're going to be famous. So to sum up, Cine Still Tungsten Film is some of the best high-speed film I've ever used. The grain structure at this speed is like a 400 speed film you'd normally get. But it's no silver bullet either. You still really need to know what you're doing and what lighting situations serve you the best with this film. It just takes a little bit of practice. I used a new developer for this film. Normally I'll try to use Walmart or Walgreens or Target, but none of them do it anymore and if they do, they don't ship the negatives back. And they're not particularly fast or cheap. So I was on apug.org and I saw an advertisement for thedarkroom.com. What sold me was that they do $11 for developing and scanning. So I was like, okay, that's, that's fine, that's pretty cheap. And what really got me though, was that they actually ship you a prepaid mailer for you to ship back to them. So it becomes completely brainless and easy to do. So I wanted to give a shout out to them for uh, developing my film for this episode. This, all the scans you see were done by them and they're really high quality. I hope this video has been informative to you, and I really do think you should give this tungsten film a try. It's really special. Thanks for watching, and give me a like or subscribe, because that is how I know that you're enjoying what I'm making. Thanks!